hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn how we can create uh, a round button really fast and really easy without doing any effort uh, of uh, hard coding we're just gonna use photoshop <clears throat> if you have uh, tr uh, you can use any uh, version of the photoshop but if you have trouble using the photoshop you think it's hard or anything you can use paint it i'm gonna show you the painted way of doing this too so first we're gonna see what we can do in the photoshop so uh, go to the file new and click create it would it would open the uh, a window just like this double click the background and it would unlock the layer now click the eye icon and the white background would disappear now we have to find the ellipse tool this ellipse tool if you don't find the ellipse tool here go to edit toolbar and here you can find the ellipse tool down here so with the ellipse tool create a circle uh, Also with the uh, text tool, we have to create some text. I only need the X because I, I need to create, I want to create a cross button and exit button. So I only need the cross. I'm gonna make it bigger. You can make it bigger if you have selected the show transform control. So this is this big is good. Now I'm going to crop the rest of the background. So this is our button. Now I'm gonna change this background color from here. If you don't see this, click the ellipse, click this ellipse and press here and you can see the color over here. You can change it to uh, this or this would be our original color or this is good this would be our original color so now save this image into the desktop png as normal okay and we're gonna change the color of this ellipse and we're gonna make it this now I'm gonna again save another image so now I'm gonna name it power so I have saved these two images now my work here is done but I won't close the photoshop because I need to show you guys that you can also do this work uh, with the painted but you st uh, you're gonna still gonna uh, need the photoshop and this is how open the paint and create a circle here If you want to do it without the pho uh, photoshop you can still do it. Okay. You choose this tool, oval tool and fill solid color. And choose the same color of these two. 
now you can see that I have created a circle as well over here so I have created a circle now I'm gonna put the X over here so now you can see that I have successfully created a button here as well but I cannot uh, turn the background as transparent in the painted so I need to save this to the desktop and you have to still use Photoshop or some other software to clean up the background but it's very easy so you can come here and I have bring the uh, bring my image here I'm gonna double click here unlock the layer and now the magic wand do magic wand tool will do all the magic choose this layer and then click the magic wand tool you can adjust the tolerance level here uh, now uh, I have clicked this image now press delete and you can see that our transparent background and our button is here now you can save the image and this is how you can do it with painted so now i'm gonna close it because our work with the photoshop and the painted is finished and we have successfully created these beautiful buttons so now i'm gonna go into the photoshop and do the magic there so a new project Uh, windows form and our round button so here choose picture box and we're gonna do all our work in this picture box in the size mode choose stretch image and now we're gonna import the images so in the project resource file import these two images and here is our cross button let me make this non sizable so this is our button you can make it a, a, a little more short but uh, this this looks good to me so here is our button and what we gonna do is we're gonna go to the event section and here inside we're gonna use the two event mouse enter and I have double clicked it inside the properties again in the event section I need mouse leave too so I have created these two events inside the mouse leave event inside the mouse enter event first I'm gonna do the magic so picture box one dot image equals to properties dot resources dot normal 
normal no not the normal but the hover effect and inside here the normal effect so when the mouse enters the button the hover effect activate the hover image activates and when the mouse leave the normal uh, button picture activates so this is how our button would look like but another thing is that we need to add a click event too so when we click the button uh, click this picture box picture box which uh, which which would act like a button it would also do the uh, job like closing the application just like a button so in the click event of the picture box I'm gonna close the application now let's run it and you can see that our button is here and it's highlighting like magic and when I click this it closes the application just like a button would do so it acts just like a button and nobody can tell the difference that it's a picture box and the user would think that it's a button and it's acting like a button and doing its job just like a button so this is the end of the video uh, if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe to the channel and see you next time